Good day, everybody. This is Darren the Devil back with Devilish Sense. Hope you're all having a great week. It's another beautiful day in the Pacific Northwest. Sorry, I had to take another break there. It was my father's birthday, followed by uh, Father's Day, of course, which was yesterday. And it's been busy, guys. I had to been, uh, I planned for his birthday party, the Devil Senior. And so, yeah, it's just been a busy week. Anyhow, Today, I have to do a shout out for Yad Hawa. I've gotten three fragrances off of him in the last month, actually. Two Bortnikovs and what I got for you today. And I've been calling him the fast, the fastest in the game, excuse me. Uh, I've been calling him the fastest in the game because I order bottles and I get them in two days. I'm in Washington State and he's all the way in Texas and I already got this and it's been literally two days. Now, I already cut this open got the got these guys here and let's get it to it I already know what this is oh but I am excited today I'm gonna be doing a first impression and unboxing on oh just got popcorn everywhere gonna have to pick that up anyway Bodistia the Victorious. Oh man, gotta love Bicky. Biggie, sorry, excuse me guys. I just cannot talk today. But let's go ahead and get into this. I'm gonna go ahead and pause this, get behind the camera, and we can do the unboxing together. All right, I'm back. So, Bodistia the Victorious Monarch. Trying to get this really clear here. It's really bright, so. The back has the ingredients. Let's see if there's anything I notice in there. Geraniol, of course. Da, 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 da. Linalool, lemonade. All right, just taking a quick look. I got the 100 ml. I've actually tried Monarch before. This was uh, made in 2015. It's a 2015 release. I've tried it a few times and I've been dying to get a full bottle. And he offered this for a great price and I just had to jump for it for a Father's Day special. Oh, oh, it's one of these. This is my first Bodicia the Victoria full bottle. I've tried a few of their compositions. Okay. Wow, this is magnetic, like that, like a book. Okay, let's get into this. Oh, there's a little batch code on the bottom so you can uh, UPC there. And yeah, that's about it. Oh, uh, go to bodiciathevictorious.com to check out the full line. Now, what bothered me is when I was doing research on this, oh, that's just, gorgeous. Hope you guys can see that. Victorious. Gosh, that song always gets stuck in my head when I think of Bodicea the Victorious. <laughs> biggie, 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 boy, can't you see? Okay, I gotta stop. <laughs> oh, this cap doesn't, whoa, stay on very good at all. Do not pick this up by the cap, guys. Do not do it. Ain't gonna do it. But, oh, look at the little pillow inside love that oh smells like a department store smells like fresh shoes I love that smell oh okay let's get into it guys now I just showed you guys the front but the back also has their insignia on the metal plaque and it says Odyssey of the Victorious, Monarch on the bottom. Very hard to see. Um, maybe I'll, I'll, when I do the full review, I'll show you guys a little bit better. But the cap, even though it doesn't stay on very well, gorgeous. This is gorgeous. I think I'm going to have to do this inside. It's really bright. Okay, but let me go ahead. And I love their insignia. I did want to show you guys. Their insignia is amazing. The guy on the chariot going, Rawr! We are Titan. Okay, let's go ahead. <laughs> All right. 
Now, usually uh, Bodicea of the Victorious have a bunch of notes. <sighs> oh, oh. Gotta let some air out. Whew. Oh my gosh, I'm catching it already. This is heavy. This is very heavy. Getting spice. Oh, oh, holy cow. I'll show you guys the, wish I was in the sun a little bit better here. Okay. Here. Whoa. Jeez. <laughs> I think I got my face a little. Okay, let me get the back of my neck too. Oh, oh my gosh. Switching these out. Beautiful, beautiful opening. Oh my gosh, guys, this is great. Uh, gorgeous, very juicy, kind of tangy as well. You get the bergamot. I would say, <laughs> my cat's over here. Something like Artemisia as well. And uh, there's a little bit of tang in there. Not sure where that's coming from. Maybe a blood orange or something. Uh, there's a sweetness in here as well, but oh my gosh, the florals are coming through and that, okay, that the beginning, it goes through really fast to that transition to a gorgeous juiciness to, I'm getting uh, some spice in here. Like I said, uh, maybe some pepper. Uh, oh my gosh, this is transitioning fast, guys. I'm getting jasmine. Uh, maybe rose in there. There's something watery, like a, and maybe it's, it's the jasmine, but it's airy as well. I'm thinking uh, maybe lilac or maybe freesia or, or caraway, something of the sort. The juiciness still sorta with the, with the uh, anchoring of the, a leather with a beautiful top uh, kind of transitioning with the, with the florals. I would say definitely rose, lily of the valley, and jasmine. And something airy, uh, I'm thinking either caraway, lilac, or uh, freesia. And some inviting spices, along with the pepper, I'm guessing a little bit of cinnamon. It's not a bomb, but it's like a cinnamon mixing with that leather. Oh my gosh, this is gorgeous. Let me go ahead and spray one more spray. Oh, this is great. I feel like this could be uh, almost an anytime fragrance because of the leather in there and it's it's very juicy with the with the in the beginning with the bergamot. Great sprayer. Oh man, the opening is to die for with that Artemisia bergamot and something a little bit tangy zest bitter a bitter zest. A bitter tang. Black tea as well. Oh. This has some similarities to Ormond Jane's uh, Ormond Jane's Mont Tobacco. With the leather and the beautiful opening and maybe some of those the florals are very similar in there. Hanger, but great for summer great for spring and also if you put on a few more sprays you can pull this off in winter maybe not in the coldest of winter because I'm not sure I'm not sure it'll really stick out unless you put on a lot of sprays of this maybe put it on your clothes but uh, really this would be great for any other time fall spring or summer uh, not beastly it's a very seductive aura that you know, you kind of get off and you're getting, you're, I'm catching slight whiffs of this, probably two, three feet of project, projection, but it anchors, I um, can tell that it's anchoring down rather quickly to my skin. And oh my gosh, the spices in here with the leather, the cardamom and the black pepper, really, really, maybe a little bit of cinnamon as well is really seductive and alluring. It's very alluring.
Uh, I feel like this is perfectly unisex. I was going to say what bothered me about this is I couldn't find a perfumer, and that always bothers me. Bodicea, the victorious. Come on, guys. I expect more from you guys. You, you usually, you know, put your perfumers, even if it wasn't a well-known one. Come on, guys. Or maybe it was the... I, I'm not sure. I'm going to have to do some more research, and I'll come back with the full review. But this is Darren the Devil back with Devilish Sense. Thank you so much for coming by today. Oh, shit. now I gotta pick up all those dang peanuts.